and welcome to Data Science Corner. This is SQL interview questions and answer series. Today, we are going to look into one of the interview questions where we have been given an input table and the expected table. And the query is to write an SQL query using a recursive CTE to retrieve the hierarchical structure of employees. So we have been given an employee ID, manager ID, employee name in the input table. And in the expected output, we want employee ID, manager ID, employee name with the label. So the labels are the hierarchical level of the employee with the top level employees. Example, the CEO is at level one and employees further down the hierarchy at higher levels. So we need to sort the output by level as well within each level by employee ID. So let's go to SQL and check how we can do it. Okay, I have already written the query to create the table and insert the value. So we are creating a table employees with employee ID as the primary key, then manager ID, then employee name. Let's run this query. Now, let's insert the values into the table. Now let's check our table. So we have created this table with seven employees, seven employee IDs with different manager IDs and the employee names. Now let's try to write the solution for this query. Before writing the solution, let's look into the data so that it will be clear to us how we can go forward with the solution. So here in Alice, the manager ID is null, which means Alice is the CEO and the top level employee with no manager ID. For Bob, the manager ID is one, which means Bob reports to Alice. For Charlie as well, it's one. So Charlie also reports to Alice. Now for David, the manager ID is two, which means David reports to Bob with the manager ID two with the employee ID two. Now for Eve, the manager ID is two, which means Eve also reports to Bob. For Frank, the manager ID is three, which means Frank reports to Charlie. Now for Grace, the manager ID is four, which means Grace reports to David. Now let's write our solution using recursive CT as it is mentioned in the query. So before writing it, so what's a recursive CT? So a recursive CT references itself during the execution. It runs a subset of the result. Then it recursively references itself and terminates when it has returned all the results. Now for this query, let's write the solution step by step. So first we are going to find out the employees who have null manager IDs. So in order to find out the top level employees. So for that, we'll write select. We want employee ID, manager ID, and employee name. So let's copy this and paste it here. So we want employee ID, manager ID, employee name, comma, one as level. So one as level because the employees will have null manager IDs, they will have the highest level. So we want to select from employees table where manager ID is null. So manager ID, let's paste it here, is null. Now let's run this query and check. So here we are getting Alice who has null manager IDs and the level is now one. So this is our top level employee, the employee which is at the top of the hierarchy. Now this whole query will put it under a CT, so which will be a recursive CT. So recursive, let's give the table name as employees CT as so let's put the bracket so this whole thing will be inside the bracket so this is our recursive city 
Now let's write the query for the employees who have a valid manager IDs who, or we can say that who doesn't have a null manager ID. So for that, we are going to write select. So here we are going to use two tables. We are going to use inner join for the employees table and we are going to join the table on this table which we have created employees city. So let's write from employees as P inner join. this employee city table as C. Now let's write our select statement. So we want E dot employee ID comma. We want all this actually. So let's copy this. Let's copy it. Let's paste it here. So we want E dot employee ID, E dot manager ID, E dot employee name, and C dot level. So let's remove this C dot level plus one from employee as E. Then we will be inner joining the tables with employees CT as C on. Now we'll be writing the condition on which we want to inner join the two tables. So we want to join them on e dot manager ID. Let's paste it here equal to c dot employee ID. Now employee ID. So here we need to put a bracket. Now we are going to write the select statement. Select star from the employees city table. So let's copy this here. Now let's run our query. Okay, now we got our output. So we have employee ID, manager ID, employee name and level. So for Alice, the level is one because the manager ID is null. For Bob, the level is two because the manager ID is one. For Charlie also level is two because one is the manager ID. So for Bob and Charlie, the manager is Alice. So in the same way, all these outputs are there. So this is how we can do it using recursive CT. So now let's understand this query one by one. So this whole query with recursive employee CT. So this is the initial CT or we can say best case. So this first part of the CT, it's also known as the best case. It selects all employees who have null as their manager ID meaning they are the top level employees. In this case, Alice. It assigns a level value of one to this employees representing the top level of the hierarchy. So the result of the base is only Alice is selected with level equal to one. Now the next part. So this second part of the query is the recursive case. It uses the result of the previous city starting with Alice in the best case and joins it with the employees table again. The join condition on e dot manager ID equal to c dot employee ID ensures that it selects all employees who report to the employees already retrieved. Example, employees whose manager ID matches the employee ID of those already processed. It increments the level by one each time the recursion goes one step deeper into the hierarchy. So first recursive call, find employees who report to Alice, Bob and Charlie level two. Second recursive call, find employees who report to Bob, David and Eve level three. And employees who report to Charlie, Frank level three. Third recursive call, find employees who report to David, Grace level equal to four. The recursion stops when there are no more employees to process. Now this part, it selects all the rows returned by the recursive city. It shows the entire hierarchy of employees along with their level in the hierarchy. So this is how we have found out the solution for this query using the recursive city.
I hope you got an idea of how to use recursive CTE. Thank you. We'll see you in the next video.